Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Vinyl Nation. And perfect marketing synergy as this comes out the weekend of record day. And this film is about the resurgence of vinyl. And I have to say this documentary reminded me a lot of booksellers that came out earlier this year, which I absolutely love. And as an avid reader my whole entire life, that hit a nerve and really connected with me. And as somebody who loves music and has been a part of this resurgence of vinyl, as I have a record player, I have a vinyl collection, this film made me love my collection so much that I literally walked over towards the end of the film and started admiring my collection and like thinking about all the different vinyls I had and made me want to just take all my music out and play it because there's so much passion that goes into this documentary and what I really appreciate a lot about it is it spends a like it does set up like the history of vinyl and the cyclical nature of when it went away and came back and you get that perspective and it's interesting and informative in that way but what I really love about the film is when it spends the time talking to different people about their personal love for vinyl and there's one particular couple it was a young black woman and a young white man and they're married and there are different perspectives on vinyl and it was funny it was heartwarming it was charming but their passion really came through and I loved how this film captured in those interviews which this is a decently straightforward kind of documentary it's a lot of interviews there isn't anything particularly interesting that they do from a filmmaking perspective but what they do capture is this community and how important it is and like I love the very opening when they were at a record store day and you're just interviewing these people it's like these are my record store friends like I see them whenever I'm here we connect over music and it's like I don't even know that guy's name but I see him every year and it's nice seeing him every year and those kinds of shots of community felt really special in this film and I really appreciated that and just the love and care from each of these people that are interviewed whether they're music execs or content creators or they make vinyl they produce it which that was really cool you got to see the production process of how vinyl works and everything so that was a cool aspect of the film whether you were somebody who runs a vinyl convention or just people who love music on vinyl this documentary really captured all that and I was in love with it. I was enamored by this film. And I'm so glad that I tuned in. I went over, yet again, Princeton Garden Theater to check this out. New this weekend, just in time for Record Store Day. And, like, there's a f one main record store that I do go to is the Princeton Record Exchange. I used to live, like, ten minutes from Princeton. I moved away during all this craziness of the pandemic. So it isn't as quick as a drive, but, like, I long to go back to Princeton Record Exchange when I feel more comfortable going out places and going to pick up some new vinyl because this film inspired me to and makes me want to listen to music and really appreciate why and that's special. I don't think a lot of documentaries do that and Vinyl Nation is a great documentary. I loved it. Might be extremely biased and that's okay. Maybe you don't have the same connection because you don't have that feeling about music. You might be just perfectly fine streaming music on Spotify or Amazon or iTunes, but this hit a chord with me, and I really loved it. And if you're a vinyl fan out there, this is must-see. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think about Vinyl Nation, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.